Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Claudia Crush from Trendy Latina. If you're watching me for the first time, thank you for the love. Thank you if you're joining us live. Thank you if you're joining us on replay tonight. So happy to catch this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you're here as well. Well, tonight I am not going to be talking for a change. <laughs> you guys usually hear me, you know, talking. My husband is going to be sharing some information on the plugin we've been using for a few weeks. And it has totally changed the way I use and see Periscope. So I will leave all the details to him. And if you ha also have SEO questions at the end, since he did, we did that scope and everybody had so many SEO questions, since that's what he does for a living, he's an SEO expert, he's also going to be answering these questions at the end of our scope. So make sure you stay tuned. Now I'm going to pass to my husband, Mark Rush, and he's going to introduce yourself and tell you a little bit about himself. And then we'll get started on the plugin. Just hold on a second. Hi, everybody. I am Mark. I am Claudia's husband. And um, I just want you to know that I'm not a Periscope expert. Uh, that's Claudia's job. And what I do is I help her out with her websites and try and get her uh, a lot of um, good rankings on the search engine pages. Hello, thank you for joining us. Um, so anyway, Claudia wanted me to tell you about this new plugin that we got, and it's called WP Scope. And, and what it does is it automates a lot of the whole process for you when you do um, scopes. And so what it does is it will grab the scope from Twitter it will put it onto your server that your web uh, site is hosted on, and then it will automatically upload it to YouTube for you, and then it will automatically create a post for you, um, and you can con control a lot of the information that is given, um, you know, it, as, it, as it pulls the information and it makes the posts and it posts it to YouTube. You can put in there what you want it to say and do. So, Periscope is is a is only a few months old, like half a year old, and it's really taking off. And I was reading some of the numbers to Claudia, and it's like going like crazy. So, I wanted to go over this app, and hopefully, you guys will find that it's useful and it'll help you in your scoping as well. Claudia's here helping me. Okay. So this is the interface that you get. This is uh, Claudia's blog, and I have um, the page open, the Periscope, the WP Scope page open. As you can see here, um, the very first thing that you want to do is there's an activation here that has to be done. And so you come down in here and you put your code in. And once you do that, then all these other tabs no longer are grayed out you can go in and access all these tabs. And the, the first thing that you do, let me scroll down here. Um, the first thing that you do is you go through and set up the settings for it. And you'll see that there's a Periscope tab in here. And these are the things that you're going to be entering. Um, it, it talks about the API, a key, the Twitter, you need to put in your Twitter username. Um, and then uh, let's go down. You can tell it how large of videos you want it to catch. I think 45 minutes is fairly large video, so I don't want it to go much lar lar longer than that. And so I tell Claudia when she does her scopes to keep it under 45 minutes. And if sometimes you make a mistake when you start a scope, so it will come over here and you'll see that it will skip videos shorter than I've set it up for one minute. Now all these little questions in here, if you look for every tab in here, there is a little video that you can watch. It's a tutorial video and it's pretty good. The, the guy goes through all the steps and he walks you through everything. So if you've never done anything like this, you know, you, you know, if API seems like some kind of a weird word to you, API stands for application program interface. Um, kind of technical jargon, but what it means is the WP Scope will be able to talk to Twitter and get information from Twitter. So, 
um, he walks you through all this. And, and let me just tell you that it's not a real fast process. Okay, it's going to take, it took me about an hour to get the whole thing set up. Because once you get done your periscope settings, the next thing that you do are the video settings. And here's where it will send your videos. You have three options. You can send it to YouTube, you can send it to Amazon S3, or you can send it to Daily Motion. And then in once you do once you pick out where you want it to go, it offers up tabs for you to put in your settings for whatever you're going to use. And so it tells you to click here, you go and you create another API so that your uh, plugin can talk to YouTube. And then you put in your, um, you know, your, your API settings, your Google client ID and your secret ID. And down here, you're going to, you want to fill this in. They, they say you can leave it blank, but I found that there was, you know, it didn't work right until I put something in here. And this is the standard YouTube sizing for um, videos. So like when you want to embed a video into your blog, it, you click on that little um, embed code, the iframe code, and these sizes are already in that iframe code. So what you just do is you can put them in there. And once you put them in there, um, you know, it, it's, it, it works fine. It, they, they just did the, this is the second iteration of the plugin. They've made two changes. They've upgraded it two times since I bought it. And you'll see here, you can put your video before the content or you can put it after. With Claudia's theme, I found that when I put it after the content, it was putting it after her uh, bio box. So it kind of looked silly. So for me, the best way to, to use it was to put it before the post content. And then it will, you can set it up so that it automatically creates the tags here. Um, tagging is something like putting a keyword in on your video. So you want to make sure that you have tags on your videos. Okay, so the next setting is the automation. And in here you'll have Facebook settings. So not only does it create the video and create a post for you, it will also send out a message onto your Facebook page. And as you can see, Claudia has a bunch of different pages here. And we've just chosen that it'll go to her trendy Latina page here. Okay. And so then there's also, it will make a post to Twitter about your um, Periscope video and your post on your blog. So you're getting a lot of social love out of the plugin as well as the, um, as the automation of the videos. And says I'm being too shaky. Okay guys, let me see. How do you blip this thing back to me, honey? Okay, <laughs> sorry. It's an iPhone and I'm not an iPhone user. I'm a, um, an Android person. So anyway, those are the basic settings on the plugin. Um, and then once you get that done, you can see you get little green. Let me, let me blip. When you get it done right, you'll get this little thing here. That you'll get green indications. Application has been authorized. And it tells you, like, you know, it shows you what your last post did. So when you see it in green, you know everything's working good. Okay. So what you do then is you can, I'm going to click on this link over here to go to the scope manager. And what you do is you can set up campaigns. And so you can set up a campaign for each tab that you have in your menu, um, and you can set it up so that it will use hashtags or keywords. You can even grab other people's scopes and put them on your uh, blog, but they were running into problems with that. So they, they, that was the latest revision. So now, before you go and grab somebody else's scopes, it has reminders in there. Let me go and see if I can pull this up for you. It tells you to go out and even sends out an email for you um, in here. Like you can do, let me pull it, you can, uh, you can put in a URL. Like if it doesn't automatically catch one or if one of your friends did one and you want to put it on your blog, you can put in the URL in there and it will go out and do everything for you, create the post and send it to YouTube and all. Or you can search for active um, scopes that are going on by putting in a keyword in here. 
And if somebody has that keyword in their title of their scope, it will automatically pick it up for you. And then this user list is, is people that have been approved to do scopes, you know, that you've been talked to them and you've been approved to use their scopes on your page. It's kind of a cool thing. Um, they, they, they just did that. Alrighty, so let's blip back. So it's like having a Pinterest board for Periscope, which is awesome. You know, when you have a Pinterest board and you pin content from other bloggers and you make uh, fall recipes uh, with apples, you can do that with the scopes. And so it's it's awesome. And I don't know if um, Mark really emphasized when he talks about post, the, the plugin is actually how much does it cost? Well, We'll talk about that. We're giving you the details. I promise we'll get to that. But um, the plugin uh, will make the post for you. It will actually manually, you know, uh, automatically based on what you... Hi, hello. Hi, Becky. It will make the post on YouTube for you. It's not only a time saver, but it also optimizes the description. So you have all your keywords in there and it will also help your YouTube channel, which was one of my goals, my personal goals. So Mark is going to continue to, to share a little bit more of the details. And um, right after he finishes the details, we'll go to the interesting part, which is the, the, the price of the of the plugin and also how you can the link for you to get the plugin if you would like to you love the seo tips here that's the last we're saving the best for less if you have seo <laughs> questions mark is all yours tonight just tonight just tonight <laughs> so if you have seo questions he will be answering all your questions how often do you have an seo expert right here in front of you to answer questions right an hour nope Nope, <laughs> but we'll be definitely answering a lot of your questions. So I'll, I'll move it back to him, um, stop with my nonsense, and he will be sharing some more features of the scope, of the WP scope, and then he'll be sharing the price and the link as well. Just a second. I'm back. Okay, so what I wanted to do is show you real quick an example of a was created by the WP. P scope plugin. This is uh, Claudia's Trendy Latina blog, and here's one of the posts that it created. As you can see, it puts your title in here. Uh, my latest Periscope. You can change that. Everything you're seeing, you can change. Touch tones, crystal, crystal unboxing, and the video is right here. Um, the video is actually hosted on YouTube, and the link it automatically inserts the link for it so that it shows up. And the latest feature that they added is. It's it now picks up if you can see here it picks up how many were watching it live how many comments you got and how many hearts you got and it actually does the comments you can scroll through the comments that people made during the um, scope which is kind of cool uh, Claudia had a question about you know it only shows 10 watched live here and she's like, I know I had more than that, but what it does is those are the people that were actually watching the scope all the way through and stayed till the end. So you probably will have higher numbers than that when you look at it on Periscope, but you know that what it actually picks up is what who was there at the end of the uh, scope. And then here's the rest of the blog post that it fixed. And and let me just tell you that um, back here. Let me just tell you that. It does. Uh, sorry, I missed that last comment. It it you can you don't have to have it so that it automates a post for you. You can have it so that it 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 uh, sticks it in a draft so that it's not you know automatically published. You can determine whether or not you want them automatically published or you want them to go into a draft. And so what's the what's the the benefit of this? Well, when you guys are doing your scopes you have a couple different options. One is you don't do anything and your scope disappears after 24 hours. The, and the other is that you can put in what, what Claudia was doing was putting in a hashtag catch with K-A-T-C-H and that would go to the catch.me website and then it would store the video in there. Well, the, the bad thing about that is you're sending people away from your site. Can you stack multiple scopes in one? 
you can what you would do is just stick them have it create them as drafts and then you can put them in um in one post you can you can use that you can do it that way yeah claudia's telling you saying to tell you that i'm doing that now for one of her posts um in fact i did it for the philadelphia event that she was recently at so where was i before i answered that question so um, the reason, the other thing, uh, oh, that's what I was talking about. You can, you can use catch, but what you do is you're sending some of your traffic away from your site to catch. So you don't really want to do that. You want to build a name brand for yourself and you want to keep people on your website. So this, yeah, it would be, well, Claudia has been doing a ton of, of uh, scopes as well lately, and it would be a lot of posts. Um, there's nothing wrong with having content on your website. In fact, Google loves fresh content. So the more content you put on there, the better you're going to do for your um, search engine optimization. So don't worry about having a lot of scopes on there. That's not going to hurt you at all. Okay, the, um, the other option that Claudia was doing is uh, she was getting the, um, the scope off of her phone and uploading it to YouTube. Yeah, it's yeah. Fresh content is good for your website. Trust me on that one. That's why everybody's moved to WordPress because WordPress has so many things that the search engines love built into it. It's a really great um, content platform. So, as I was saying, when you you can take you can take this scope off of your phone, upload it to YouTube, and then wait for it to to get done, and then you put in all the information on YouTube. That, that pertains to the scope and, and get your tags in there. And then once that's done, then you can go and grab the embed code and then you can come back and stick it on your, yeah, I'm so bad at SEO. It's, it's, it's a learned thing. You'll get better as you do it. So, and it's just a very long process of doing it the way that Claudia was doing it. So when I saw that um, this lady had come out with this new plugin, I thought, this looks like something worth checking out. So I checked it out and I talked it over with Claudia and, and we decided to get the plugin and I've been working with it now for three to four weeks and it wasn't without problems. There were a couple things that, that, you know, it took a long time to get it set up. You don't, you'll be able to get it set up. Does this plugin do it all? Yes, it does it all automatically. Um, there are some, if you guys do blogging, are you all familiar with short codes? Can you give me some hearts if you know what short codes are? It's called WP Scope. Well, short short codes are like when you when you have something like contact forms. They use that a lot on blogs. You can put it when you create a page for your contact page. You can put in there are not enough. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over my cold. Um, you can put a short code in on the page and it automatically creates a contact form for you. And so that's how it works in setting up your titles for your periscopes, for the YouTube titles, for the, um, for the post titles and for the content. There are a lot of short codes that you can use and it gives you a list of all the different short codes that you can use for it. Um, it's a, it's, it's really a cool tool, but it takes a little while to get set up. Claudia is giving me hand signals here. Yeah, you have a plugin for forms. Most people do. Um, it's a it's a, an easier thing to do a contact form, and then you you don't need to worry about all the coding that goes into that. Okay, so is it ready for us to use? It is. With this latest version that they did, I had one problem ticket open with them, um, and this latest version fixed that. So. I wouldn't recommend it if we didn't use it and I didn't think it was worth it. No, it's not really too advanced. The short code is not really that advanced. Um, it's just, you'll need to watch the videos. And as I showed you, there are videos for every tab and everything that you're going to do. And additionally, there are some videos on the website where you download the uh, program from. She has three free videos on there that you can watch and it's um, the videos are of three of the largest uh, periscopers right now. Um, they have, you know, 
hundreds and thousands of people following them, hundreds of thousands of people following them. And they're, they're good to watch like 20 minute videos. But you just, <laughs> I, I, I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> they're asking me what I would charge to set it up. Um, after you go through it the first time, it's not really that hard. I had to do it two times because the first time I got it, we had so many problems. I ended up deleting it and then reinstalling it again. Um, so yeah, it takes a little bit to, to get it, but the second time through, it's a, it's a lot easier. Um, anyway, the cost of the plugin is, is $97. Um, let me see if I can pull that up here. I put in, I put in a link in here. Hang on one second. It costs $97. Let me get this. This is, this is my link. If you want to give me, you know, some, some, some love for for showing this to you. This is my affiliate link, okay? Um, and and that'll take you. This the plugin is sold through a, a company called JV Zoo, and this will take you to JV Zoo. And you'll see it gives you. You can watch the videos on there. The the girl who sells it, um, her name is Cindy Bate, and she's from Australia. And she goes through a lot of what it can do. She'll answer almost all of your questions. If you guys have some more questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But yeah, I can help you. I can help you with um, getting it set up if you have problems with it. It's not that bad. What's that, dear? Yeah, my contact. You guys can reach me um, at Mark. It's M A R K. Let me type that in here. It'll be mark dot k r u s c h at gmail dot com. That's my email address. If you have any questions about the thing at all, it's a really good program, and um, I like it a lot. It's Claudia was getting a little frustrated with it the, the first one that the first version that we had, but. This third version is doing really, really well. I'm very happy with it. So you guys have any questions on it that you'd like me to answer? I couldn't justify that right now. It, it's, I mean, it's not cheap, uh, you know. Or do you suggest any of a column on the blog for Periscope? I would, what I have, what I told Claudia to do is we the way we set it up is we work it by um, when she does a scope she puts in their hashtag trendy Latina and what it will do is it goes and picks up every periscope from hashtag that has hashtag trendy Latina in it and what I told her we we need to do is we'll set one up for every category that she has on her blog that way you're not going to be having any kind of uh, duplicate content to worry about. And you know, it'll all you she'll have different periscopes for each of the categories, and that'll just bring her more as search engine love. Okay, so if you guys are interested in those, are the links. So let's let me pull that down back. Okay, so one of the things oh, this is good because one of the things I wanted to show you guys that I talked about last time. And I was on one of the Scopers blogs today, and I saw that they didn't fix this. And it's something that you really need to do to help yourself out and get yourself some more search engine love for your blog. And so I want to show you this. I'm going to turn it back around, and I'm going to show you where to go and how to find this and what to do in order to help yourself, okay? So hang on one second. So when you're on your blog... If you come over here and you come up to let's your settings here and you slide over and go to the reading okay when you click on that it'll bring you to your reading settings oh I'm so silly let's change that let's go back it needs to go to writing I'm in the wrong spot So when we do that, you'll see we come to the writing settings. And as you go down to the bottom of the page here, you see the update services that's showing there? You'll see Claudia has a whole bunch in here um, 
Uh, she's probably got like maybe 30 to 40. They're all different. The one that comes with it is that one right there that says rpcpingomatic.com. When you do your blogs, I guess that the majority of you guys are going to have just that one update service, this one right here. All right? And so that's not enough. You're only sending it out to one website, and it will send it out to like 10 different ones from there. But that's not nearly enough. You want more love, right? You want more people to come to your website, right? You want better search engine results? The way the search engines are going to find you is if more people are finding your website. More websites are having links back to you, and that's what this will do. It it's, works through your pings. All right, so how do you get more in there? Well, if you just have that one in there, all right, you go to your settings, and you go to your writing here. If you just have that in there, then if you look in here, you'll see it says there's an update services link right here. Okay? Update services, and they'll say that it just comes with the one, but you see update services on the codex. And what that does is it takes you to the WordPress site. And here we are in the WordPress site. And as we scroll down the page, look. Here's the ping services that they recommend that you use. I don't know why they don't put it in there by default, but they don't. And so the, the, the easiest thing for you to do will be just copy them, right? Highlight them all, right click on copy, and then hit your back button to go back to your, your blog. And then just come in here highlight your one that you have in there and then just paste it in there right click um, and paste it in there okay and that's how you would add it in and then once you do that right underneath of it make sure you click on save changes and that will do a whole lot for you that will really help you out okay and I know a lot of people don't know that and I know a lot of webmasters don't know about that so this is a great tip for you guys and it'll definitely help you get more web traffic. Yeah, it's not that hard. It's I think you guys can all <laughs> handle that. Um, do you guys have any other questions? Yeah, that's you don't need the plugin. You don't you don't need the plugin to do that. The, the plugin will help you with your um, periscopes, and uh, but the, but this is to help you get more visitors to your website. So any other questions? Yeah, it's all about getting traffic to your website. I've been a, a webmaster since 1997. Uh, I used to work for the government, and I'm an IT geek. I need more traffic. You're welcome. Um, and I've, I've done websites, and I got into internet marketing in the early 2000s. Um, there are, are there any more hidden gems? There are, there are lots of things that you can do to help. Um, well, well, but it, we're, it's getting kind of late for this one, so I don't want to go too long because I want, want this to be cut uh, for Silicon Valley. Yeah, uh, you guys, then can I tell you something? One of the tricks that a lot of search engine optimization companies will will do is they say hey look we got this you, you on the first page of the search engines for this search term well you know one of the very first client that i had for search engine optimization said hey look mark you know you're you want to you want to do search engine optimization for me but look i'm on the first page for this search for this keyword and and i looked at the keyword and i said y you know what you are on the first page for it but how many people do you think are actually going to type in that search term in order to find your business and he gave me a goofy look and I said it's easy to get on the first page for search terms that nobody's ever going to use but what you want to do is find search terms that people are going to use that don't have a whole lot of competition and that's what you, the SEO is really all about finding keywords that people are going to use to find your business and then getting the ones that don't have a whole lot of competition because there are literally thousands of keywords that people can use to find a business like yours 
So a good SEO person is going to get those search terms for you or the keywords and give you the ones that you'll be able to rank fairly easy for. Honey, I don't need that in my face. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Don't be shy, guys. Come on. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are meta tags? Thank you. Um, meta tags. Some people were asking me what meta tags are. Meta tags are codes that go on your web pages that you guys don't necessarily see, but the search engines see, and they use them. And that gives them information about your website. So your SEO plugin, if you use the Yoast one or you use all-in-one SEO pack, they have the ability to put meta tag information like where you see it'll say title and then it'll say description and then it'll say keywords under that. Those all end up being meta tags on the website pages. So you, you don't really realize what you're doing, but what you're doing when you do that is you're creating meta tags, and that's what search engines want to see when they're coming to your site. If you don't have them in there, you're not going to get ranked as highly as you should. And the nice thing about the, the SEO Yoast one is it has the little green dots to indicate when you've done everything that they think you should in order to get your uh, post you know, optimized. I don't use that one. I kind of like the all-in-one SEO pack um, just because I've been using it for years and years. And it has the exact same thing. It doesn't have the little green dot, but it has all those entries underneath the post that it wants you to fill out. And as long as you fill them out, you'll be fine. You'll be doing really well. Okay, I think Claudia wants to talk to you guys now. Hang on one second. I actually didn't, but okay. Well, <laughs> um, don't list an article under more than one category. No, you, you can have more than you no. can have more than one, right? You can, yeah, you can have more than one category. I wouldn't go crazy with it, but two or three at the most. Um, if it's if you're really trying to rank for a keyword, then I would use that as the category. I would use it in the title. I would use it in the content, and I would only use it as one category. You know, because when you put in more categories, you're spreading out your SEO juice more thinly. It's not it's not bad to do that, but you can do it. And that's the same thing. You know, when I do normally a post, I just use one category, and I think about the main category, and that's I just use one, and I use my keywords inside the content. I use my keywords on the title. And that's where, you know, the other, the other tags are used. I also have on the right side of my, of my um, WordPress, there's a place where we can put the tags besides the all-in-one SEO. So you're actually SEOing the heck out of your post. And that's, you know, that's how I do it. I just put one category. She's asking when you put a bunch of tags, does that matter? No. I mean, it, again, it, you can put, as long as the tags are relevant to the keyword, the article, and to the yeah, and to the article and to the keyword that you're trying to rank for, you can have, you know, a number of tags. I wouldn't put any more than seven because the search engines don't use any more than seven keywords in the meta tag. So don't ever put any more than seven, um, but you could put up to seven if you want to. And I'll give you an example. Sometimes I work with networks and they, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, I'll give you a quick example. Um, uh, sometimes I work with networks and they actually give on the assets page that I need to use X, Y, and Z keywords. So I don't have a choice, it's mandatory, but those keywords are not my keywords, they're not keywords to my site. So what do I do? I, I use their keywords, which are mandatory, that's why I'm being compensated, and then after those keywords, I use my own keywords under tags. This way I'm keeping my SEO in sync with my, my strategy, and I don't drop the ball in one post and just leave a post and, and not properly SEO. So that's my way, that's how I do it. Okay, guys? Well, thank you so much for the hearts, thank you for the love. If you're watching, if you just 
came, you know, and I know if you are Pacific time, it's dinner time right now. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for the love. Please watch on replay. Mark gave some really thank you. Thank you. They gave some really, really good tips tonight. And I want to promise you something else. Since you guys are supporting what we do and you've been coming and, and watching and staying with us, Mark will be due another scope next week, more towards the end of the week because we'll be in New York attending an event. But uh, Thursday or Friday, he'll be doing another scope, more, more likely Thursday. And he will be sharing some other cool SEO tips. Ask them if they have questions to mail them to you. Well, he said he said he's offering. If you have any extra questions, to please um, send me a private message on Facebook or or contact me through the Scopers group through October Scopers or um, in any of my channels. You guys know how to find me. I'm at C Crush everywhere. Okay, guys. So reach out if you need anything. If you need Mark to help you setting up the plugin. Please do so. Use his link. Give him some love. Give my family some love. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I will be talking fashion. Fashion here on Periscope. Thank you so much, guys. Love you all. I'll see you later. This is Claudia from Trendy Latina.